Welcome everybody to today's episode of Minecraft 101. Today we have 13 cool fence and wall designs that we hope uh, you'll like. We're going to go through those step by step for you here. And we're going to start off with some simple ones. Um, but when we keep in mind that when we're doing some of these simple ones, the reasons um, more about the block palette that we're choosing. Uh, we're choosing a block palette that'll work in in a kind of a typical village setting any kind of a rustic or a medieval village or town something uh even a house that you're building these would be uh this initial one here is going to be something even though it's simple it fits perfectly into those kind of things that's why we included it and then you have that second variation there where you knock out the top row of fence that's my personal favorite of that next up is a tried and true one for us uh we uh, have a tendency to like the block palette that has polished andesite and diorite together. Um, if you mix in a little bit of polished andesite uh, slabs and stairs, uh, you can get a really good look. And then even on some of the accent bits at the bottom, you're going to see where you're going to use some polished diorite. And then the only other thing that we do with this is uh, to kind of give it a little bit more of an offset. We like to choose uh, one kind of a dark color of uh, whether it be uh, trap doors for kind of the window area or fencing. Uh, we're going to use spruce fence here just to set it off a little bit and have one specific kind of dark accent area that adds a lot to builds like this. Um, and then as you see on the bottom here, we're going to just kind of use some of those polished uh, diorite stairs that I mentioned, some polished andesite slabs. And uh, I'm just going to fill in these little gaps here that I left up top with uh, some andesite slabs. And there you have. I mean, it's a really cool block palette that a lot of people don't use. But it looks really good, especially in kind of a castle wall or fortress setting. Uh, here we're going to go with um, what we're getting into here is trying to use some different blocks than what are normally used for uh, building. Um, and we're going with the composters here. Uh, these end up looking really good in this uh, design here. So we're going to go with the composters and we're going to alternate fence gates and fences. And then we're going to put uh, the leaves on top of the uh, first composter set. And then up top here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get our gate and fences back in on the top row also. And we don't want to open the gate, <laughs> so, but we will get gates and fences up top here. And then we will polish this off with a row of uh, oak trapdoors. Uh, we'll put two here at the bottom just to give it a little bit of interest on the bottom. But then we're going to run right across the top here with the oak trapdoors. Just gives it another little bit of detail. And you'll see here once we get across, uh, this one comes out really cool. This is kind of cool one for like a garden area or something like that. Um, I really like this one a lot. And then there is another variation on this one also, where if you knock out the top row of fences, you can throw in some spruce slabs. And then what you're going to do down here is add in the gate fence alternating on this row. So that it sits right above the lowest level of it. And that gives it even a little bit more like a fuller look to it. Really cool one for uh, any kind of garden or even just around your house in, in your uh, Minecraft world. Here we're going to go with one. Uh, we're starting off with walls. And then we're going to go with uh, three gates in between. We're going to go with some clay pots up on top. It's cool because the gates offset like they do when you go in threes. So the first one's low, middle one goes up a little bit, and the third one is low again. So that gives it a, a cool look to it, a cool line. And then uh, inside the clay pots, we're going to go with bamboo. And then there's a little trick here that if you take on top of the bamboo, you can't place it. You have to place a block behind it to actually place the leaf block. Um, but, you know, it's not that difficult to do. But once we get done here, you'll see this looks pretty cool. And I'll get that extra leaf out of there in just a second. But that is another really simple but cool. Has a little bit of color to it. Has uh, some contrast with the fence gates and the, uh, the stone brick walls. Uh, here's another variation of one that uses... Uh, we're going to use uh, some mangrove 
here. And then strip spruce log. And this is another one where it's just about kind of different colors, but a black palette that looks really good together. All three of these, the strip spruce, the oak slabs, and the mangrove go together really, really well. And then uh, for another variation on this, you can go ahead with some of the fence and throw uh, probably, yeah, I would use spruce trap doors like I'm doing here. And it just, again, gives it another little bit of detail and another touch of color. And then we're going to go ahead and go in between those oak slabs with it also. And it just gives it that one extra little line, a little bit of detail, keeps the, uh, keeps the eye interested. Now here is something that is personally to me, these are super simple, but they're totally perfect for almost every application. Uh, whether it's a medieval build or rustic or even somewhat of a, a suburban type of a, a build. You got, we're going with the chisel uh, for our main kind of fence posts. We're gonna top that with cobblestone walls and the three oak fence gates. And then we're just gonna go ahead and drop leaves on the top. You can do lanterns on there, you could do leaves. And then just to give a little bit of another offset of a, of a color difference, we'll go with some form of a blackstone button. And then here we're going to go a deep slate and mangrove. This is like a very cool kind of a color mix. Um, it's basically going to go with the same design that we just did, but we're going to go with these blocks just to give you an idea. Um, if you have something maybe gothic or uh, kind of uh, maybe dwarven or you know any anything of the kind of on the evil or dark side of building uh, this would actually go really well and on this one I would probably for a build like that go with soul lanterns instead of the leaves that I did here and we're just finish it off with some mangrove buttons to give a little more red into the mix and that's an awesome design an awesome palette that's uh, really good to, for the eye to uh, follow with next we're gonna go a little bit more of a castle wall um, and again, it's, it's all about kind of finding these block palettes that go well together. So the stone brick goes really well with the deep slate bricks. Uh, the color difference is just, it's a cool one. And it, we love building with this block palette. So we're just going to go here with some slabs in the middle there. Now we're going to turn some stairs in on the inside of the wall. And then across the bottom here, we are going to go with some more stone brick slabs. And then what you can do here, there's two variations of this one also. You can go with uh, a lantern hanging from a chain that we're going to do right now, which looks uh, super cool. And for some reason, the soul lanterns always look better with uh, the darker, or with any kind of deep slate or black stone. So I usually go with those. But then the other variation on this one is to go ahead and place another slab on this lower portion and then put the uh, soul lanterns on top of that. I actually kind of prefer this second one look-wise better than the hanging ones. I think sometimes the chains make things feel like they hang too low. Uh, but then we're going to go ahead and just kind of touch this up and get some some stone, uh, some, or some black, or some, uh, we're going to get some stairs down here at the bottom and then uh, maybe uh, let's put some at the top also. So let's go with some upside down stairs at the top. Uh, let's yeah, I tried the regular and I didn't like them set that way. So let's go ahead and make them upside down stairs at the top. And it kind of gives you a little bit more of that gothic kind of evil vibe to it. Um, almost similar to like what you might see in the ancient city. Next, totally different use for a dispenser than anyone has probably ever done, uh, or not many. Uh, we are going to make a wall out of it. <laughs> this texture on the dispensers and other redstone droppers and such goes really well with cobblestone, as you see right there as I'm putting in these cobblestone stairs. And, of course... It, this makes for like a totally cool wall design here. So we're going to mix in now some stone brick, which also goes well with that texture. We get some cobblestone stairs across the top. 
and we're going to come across the top. We're going to alternate two regular stairs and then one or two upside down and then one placed regular. If we can get that one placed correctly, there we go. And then we're going to go in here with some nether brick fence just to give it that dark accent that we've used in others. It is always good to have a couple of like, if you look at this, you have like a medium tone, a little bit darker, and then a very dark tone to kind of offset things. And then actually, I kind of like this where the fence is only too high. So we could put in another set of stone brick stairs there and that looks amazing. That is one of my favorite designs of all of these in the video today. If you like any of the designs in today's video and you found any of the tips that we're uh, talking about here useful, we'd appreciate if you would go ahead and share the video with your friends. Sharing a video is one of the best ways to show YouTube that we're putting out content that helps others. And that would be amazing. Uh, this next one here, that with that being uh, out there and done, um, this next one here is I'm building one side of what is actually a covered walkway design that we came up with. Uh, we haven't put it in the world yet. Um, we're, we're planning, we have a spot for it on the Forever Bedrock uh, realm that we play on um, with a bunch of other content creators. I haven't put it in there yet, but we do finally have the spot where this is going to work in. And what we're doing here is we're alternating. Uh, we've got a cobblestone wall, strip spruce, dirt. And then we're going to go ahead with the uh, mangrove trapdoors on the strip spruce, oak trapdoors on the dirt. And then we're going to go with the uh, spruce fence gates. And now where we're going to get this going and where this actually starts to all come together is we go with uh, leaf blocks on the spruce. On the dirt blocks, we're going to go with our clay pot and bamboo with uh, leaf blocks on top design. And it'll take us just a second here to go ahead and get our uh, leaf blocks placed. But this is perfect for like a garden area or an area from the back of a house to a garden or, um, you know, some kind of uh, fountain feature or something. Uh, this is a perfect kind of a, wa a covered walkway. So once we've got all those in, we are going to go right across the top here with our campfires. And then, like I said, this is a covered walkway. So like if you had a three space walkway, you would just go four across with your your campfires and then build the exact same thing on that other side at the fourth block so this last piece that really ties it together is we're going to alternate gates and fences again um, this has like a kind of a unique way of connecting when you do these like this and once you get these in it really does kind of bring this whole covered walkway together i hope you guys like these designs and maybe possibly find some use in your worlds for them thanks for watching everyone don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time